today we are going to be surprising my girlfriend with her very first streaming setup. If you don't know Bronte, she has been by my side since day one of me making content and has done so much for me behind the scenes. Lately, she has been thinking about changing up the direction of her own content and has been thinking of becoming a streamer herself. Now, when I first got this idea, I began doing some research on the products that I wanted to get her for her first setup, and I ultimately landed on a bunch of Elgato products. Even though this is a little more than what a basic, basic beginner needs, some of these things just make your life so much easier. For me, when I'm streaming, one thing that I really feel is absolutely necessary to me is a stream deck because it's just so easy to switch your scenes in OBS or just control the volume of all your applications, which I use a Go XLR, which is a few hundred dollars plus an expensive mic to go in that. And all of a sudden it gets really expensive. So I went ahead and got her an Elgato Wave 1, which has the best software for controlling audio. Paired with this, absolute killer combo for your first stream setup. And then to top it all off, I got her a capture card, which we only needed another cam link because when I first started streaming, I found a way to save some money and not have to buy an expensive game capture card. I just got a cam link and an HDMI splitter, used the two together and I saved like 50, 70 bucks, something like that. And then the last thing that I recently got, which is going to make her life a lot easier, is to have a second monitor. And I know this looks like a tablet, but it's actually a portable monitor. It's a 13 inch 2K display and you can just kind of stick it onto the side of your main monitor for chat or in her case, we're just gonna set up OBS. And yes, in case you guys are wondering, I'm going to have the links to all of these products down in the description below if you are interested in checking them out yourself. This is Bronte's current desk setup, and obviously it is not a gaming or streaming setup. It's more of a productivity and editing setup, and it all revolves around this 27-inch iMac, which is an absolute beast for editing footage. Now, if there's one thing that I know about Bronte, it's the fact that she is not gonna want to come home to a bunch of rainbow RGB unicorn puke lights all over the place and just turn this into like a gaming setup. But the thing with live streaming is there's this balance between having a good looking setup while also having something that's functional for when you are live. But in her case, I'm gonna go more on the side of having an aesthetic looking setup. So that way it's not a big shock to her and she's not overwhelmed when she first starts. Now, the first thing I think we should do to her setup is to go ahead and add that second monitor and put it portrait and just have it on the side of the Mac, which because the monitor is so small itself, I think it's actually gonna kind of look nice. So I'm gonna go get a stand and hopefully we can make this thing look okay. Next, let's go ahead and set her up with this new stream deck that I got. I got a white version because it looks super clean and eventually she'll have a white desk set up as well. So thinking ahead and this should match with it in the long run. Now let's go ahead and open the Elgato Wave mic, which honestly is like the perfect beginner microphone, mostly because of all the software that comes with it. It just makes your life so much easier as a streamer. Okay, we're making some decent progress and it still looks nice and clean, but it is time now to figure out the camera and lighting situation, which could make this a bit messier, but to help with that, I think I'm gonna use this tiny little Sony RX0 Mark II. And this is a camera that we have had for a while. And honestly, the picture quality out of this thing is absolutely amazing. It looks just as good as like a ZV-1, which is a lot bigger than this. But the only problem is you do need a lot of light. I don't wanna put up a giant light panel over her setup, but I do have this ring light. I usually don't recommend ring lights for most people, but these do get the job done. And I'm thinking I could probably mount this tiny little camera on here and maybe put it somewhere behind her setup. Not sure exactly how this is going to turn out or if it's going to work, but let's give it a try. Okay, 
Okay, walk in. Walk in, keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. I'll take it back. Okay. Is it a puppy? It's not a... No, I wish, but no. Am I not able to walk straight? Okay, you can open your eyes. Is that all for like stream stuff? This is your first stream setup. It's it's so minimal. <laughs> this is literally what I went for. You, oh, I saw your TikTok and I thought you just got the white one for yourself. Nope, that's for you. You tricked me in our little camera. Yeah, so this is literally all you need for streaming. I got your mic, the camera, the stream deck, and down here, there's an Xbox and the switch. switch. Look at Kirby. I also found a way to make an animated wallpaper for a Mac. So cute. This is literally all you need to stream. This is it. That's crazy. Yeah, so I know it's it's not my setup, but since it's like your first setup, I didn't want to overwhelm you. Look at this, a tiny little monitor. I love it. Thanks. Now I actually have to do it. Please watch me. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly when Bronte is going to do her first live stream, but be sure to go check out her channel linked down in the description below. I'm sure she will be putting out an announcement about it, but let me show you guys around the whole setup now. Again, the main thing that I wanted to achieve here is just to have a nice clean look. And I think I did a pretty good job of it. I did add an RGB light strip to the back of the desk, but I just put it as a nice simple pink. So it's not too overwhelming and it kind of matches the wallpaper that I found, which is an animated Kirby of him just sitting on some clouds. So it's kind of that like cute, vibe for Bronte. I put her stream deck right in the middle. She might end up putting that off to the side. And then we have that Elgato mic, which I was thinking of putting it on a boom arm at one point, but then we would have just had a giant boom arm kind of cluttering this area up. And honestly, I did some tests myself and having it on that little stand is more than good enough for now, as long as you just pull that closer to you while you were streaming. And then for the lighting situation, surprisingly, this ring light actually does a pretty decent job as well as the RX0 Mark II. Right now, I'm just using USB streaming with that camera. So it only puts out at 720p, but the camera looks so good that it kind of didn't matter that much. And then as for this second monitor, I ended up putting it on a little stand. So if we want to, we can still unplug that, pop it off and still use it as an external portable monitor if we want to, but it turned out really well. I actually like the thing a lot. Overall, just a nice simplistic stream setup that isn't anything too crazy, but is more than good enough. If Bronte ends up really enjoying streaming after doing it for a couple of months, I'm sure we will do a full setup revamp and make it her dream setup that she's always wanted. So be sure to subscribe so you can see that video if and when it comes out. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.